Hello everyone, welcome back to the homeowner series in GTA 5. Today we will be heading out on a week long camping trip for the 4th of July. The fireworks are tonight and then we'll be spending the rest of the week at the lake and having fun on the dirt trails. Let's give a quick walkthrough of everything we are taking. I just came out of the house and all of my bags and everyone else's bags are packed and ready to go. We will be taking the E450 Fleetwood Camper along with the Yamaha Jet Ski. We'll also be taking the 2020 GMC Denali along with the tri-axle enclosed trailer, the first gen F-150 Raptor, and our Yamaha dirt bike. This should be a lot of fun and I can't wait to see the fireworks later tonight. It will be probably a two to three hour drive out there to the lake and I think we'll probably skip over a bit of that but let's hop here in the Fleetwood and head on out. I'm really excited to be back here in GTA 5, especially uh, camping with the homeowner series. I definitely want to do more videos here in this game, and you guys have been requesting them a lot as well. Now I thought since this is a pretty long vehicle, it would be best to just put the Yamaha on this, and then we'll put the bigger trailer on the Denali. Now I was kind of deciding between a few off-road vehicles, but I decided why don't we bring uh, the jet ski with us here, losing a little bit of traction, just so much weight. Uh, we are uh, kind of moving here, and we'll have to wait for traffic, and we should be good to go now. Perfect. Traffic's a little busy. Uh, lots of people heading away for the 4th of July. I hope everyone has a great 4th of July. You'll be seeing this one day early. And not that uh, this would be the perfect, kindness, cool, special video uh, since we do a fireworks here in GTA 5. Now today's video is rated for all ages. That's a lot of work, but I really do enjoy um, uh, making content that everyone can watch. And if you are new here to the channel, please drop a like. It's much appreciated as it helps out with the channel. And if you haven't already, I do recommend that you subscribe to not miss a new upload. I am posting every single day here. Wow, this traffic is a bit slow, and it's going to be a pretty long drive out over uh, to the lake. So far, I've really been enjoying the homeowner series here in GTA 5. We really do have a pretty awesome collection of cars, uh, from supercars to our off-road vehicles. And I was thinking, why don't we take the Hennessy Raptor or even uh, the ZR2 uh, Colorado. But I decided let's take the first gen, the big old V8. I'm a big fan of that uh, generation here. And it looks like we're about halfway to the lake. And we have arrived here at the lake. I'm just trying to find kind of the best camping area here for us. And I think that it's going to be in this uh, parking lot here to our left hand side. And there does seem to be a very nice trail here. We'll just kind of continue on this and then uh, we'll come over here. Oh yeah, this seems to be the perfect spot here. Doing a little bit of off-roading, making our own trails. And oh yeah, right here, this area will be perfect here for us. And the fireworks, I think, uh, they will be coming from... I think midway through uh, they're putting a little barge out there so let's get that trailer uh, disconnected there and I think we'll get the uh, camper set up right about here seems to be good now one thing I have noticed here with this when towing that smaller jet ski trailer you can't really see it in the rear view mirrors for a few moments there I was thinking do we still have the trailer but we have it here and I think once the Denali is here we'll use that to put this in the water but wow uh, this seems to be a beautiful day now sunset is around 9 p.m. and I think around 9 30 10 o'clock at night uh, the fireworks show should be going and I do hear this area does have a pretty good one uh, up next I do want to fold out all of the slides. And there we have it. We have all of it slid out here on the Fleetwood. I believe this has three slide outs here, which is very nice. And you guys can see that looks awesome. So we should be able to go on the inside. Looks like everything is set up, ready to go. And let's head back over to the house to pick up the next uh, setup. And 
and I arrived here back at the house. I think we'll first probably load up the dirt bike and then uh, we will put the uh, first gen Raptor right above the axles. I think that's probably the best thing here for us to do. And uh, let's get this backed up here. Pretty unique helmet color. It uh, looks like I picked up one of the kids here. So we'll put this in and then uh, we'll get that first gen. But I'm really excited just to be camping here. I haven't done one of these in a very long time. And I thought, why don't we do it with the homeowner series since we do have all of these uh, fun cool toys oh yeah this will be a pretty fun trip uh bringing these now i i kind of picked the area where i did uh because there are some pretty cool trails right next to it and this will be our first time taking this uh raptor off road since doing the complete uh build on it which is going to be awesome We'll get this put in here. It's going to be a little tight with the uh, dirt bike in those uh, cabinets there, but right there seems to be good. Awesome. And everything's loaded up. Let's hop in the Denali here and head on out. Now this will be one of our first big toes uh, with the trailer fully loaded here with a few off-road toys and also uh, this enclosed trailer here. This is a pretty big trailer. I only take it out of storage uh, for big camping trips like this. Now the drive up there with the camper wasn't too bad at all, few steep hills, other than that though it was uh, so far so good. And we'll have to watch for traffic here, it's going to be a little tight leaving, and after this car will go, yeah that car is going a little slow, and perfect. Now one thing here with the GTA 5 mods is, uh, it is a bit tricky to uh, make these videos, but it's something I really do enjoy doing, and I definitely will be doing a lot more of these coming up. Oh yeah, look at this setup going down the road. Imagine that, a 2020 Denali here with a first gen Raptor, big old V8. Now I have seen the new uh, 2021 uh, sneak peek pictures. Hopefully they put a big old V8 in it. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite factory off-road truck? Mine definitely has to be uh, both the Ford Raptors. I would much prefer, though, that the new ones had a, a V8. Now this trailer here is pretty unique with also uh, that design on it, but uh, so far I mean the Denali, uh, the tow mirrors are just making, it's pretty hard to see though. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. And we are just about to arrive here at our camping area with the enclosed trailer. And I think we'll actually see if we could go down this road here. Now this Denali pulling probably around 10,000 pounds. You could feel just a little bit of weight. But overall the truck did an incredible job on this two and a half, three hour long drive here to the campgrounds. And what I'll do is I will get this uh, trailer unloaded here. And then we'll catch you guys uh, probably off-roading. And then uh, we'll, I think we'll go on the jet ski right before the fireworks a show happens and I just got the F-150 Raptor here unloaded I think we'll bring this around and park it on this side over here uh, that way we can kind of see it here now there are some off-road trails just on the other side of that bridge uh, that we will be heading on we'll get the dirt bike and I think we'll probably put it right next to it and we'll just park it right about here. So as you guys can see, the campgrounds are all set up. And it looks to be just past 3 p.m. here. So we have quite a few hours. Uh, so I think we'll first head on to the off-road trails here with the F-150 Raptor. I think that's probably the best thing here for us to do. Uh, to go exploring with this truck. And then uh, we'll go uh, and have some fun once we ha know somewhat of the trails. Now this truck I will probably just keep in two-wheel drive. That way we could have just a little bit of fun. We'll make our own trail here and look at that uh, just taking quite a bit of damage there on a few rocks just trying to have some fun now these GTA 5 videos are meant to be somewhat realistic but I also just want them to be enjoyable fun to watch and I have uh, just a lot of fun with them and the trails begin right about here so this should be fun and there are a ton of trails that go right alongside uh, this area oh yeah the dirt's uh, dirt mud everything so we'll just have some fun looks like a campground right about here maybe we should have came on this area this seems like a pretty fun area 
And let's see, don't want to go up there first. We'll go over here. Pretty cool bridge. Whoa, I haven't seen this bridge before here. Now, I kind of think we did an off road video before on the channel, but wow, this is a fun area. Look at that little bit of air. And uh, let's see what we can do. Going pretty fast now. We'll, uh, switch camera views and full roll cage here on the inside. Whoa, this big old V8 has a ton of power, lots and lots of torque. And looks like a few people hiking, a little bit slotting around there, but wow, this thing really, really can do some heavy duty off roading. We're going just over a 40 miles per hour here. I will say that's pretty fast here for roads like this. And let's pull the E brake here, just do a quick spin around. And wow, that was a pretty good uh, planned out. We'll have some fun. And uh, once we get to the edge of the road, we'll catch you guys in the dart bike as well but wow this thing just is a ton of fun uh, hopefully we find some more dart trails that we could uh, drive on coming right up and over the uh, little hill area it's kind of hard to see what's coming uh, but not uh, too bad And there is a trail that goes that way, but there seems to be people on it. So I'll head back to our campsite, switch over to the dirt bike. And let's get the uh, Raptor parked up here. Well, it looks like we did put a few dings and dents along the side from some rock chips and things like that, but it's an off-road truck. It's meant to have fun and we shouldn't be uh, too worried about the paint because uh, it's just going to keep happening over and over. Let's pull some wheelies here. We'll get our helmet on as we're heading over. Now there seems to be somewhat of a trail here so we'll just take this and oh yeah looks like we go right on there. Yeah let's go over there. Seems to be some people as well. Uh, I think that will be a fun area to go on. Actually, we should have gone on it over here probably as well, but uh, definitely we'll just squeeze right by and let's have some fun. Now with the dirt bike, we won't go as uh, fast here. It's somewhat dangerous going uh, fast when you really don't know the trails ahead of us. And sometimes we can't see uh, because of how we are positioned here. But once we're done having fun, I think we'll go for a quick swim in the lake and then jet ski time. I hope everyone, like I have touched upon, has a great 4th of July. It's meant to just have fun, spend time with family, and enjoy a pretty uh, sweet fireworks show. Whoa, that is pretty cool. Definitely uh, someone uh, probably is fishing down there or uh, is just went on a short walk. But let's head back to the campgrounds, get uh, everything ready to go for some uh, fun jet ski action. And we are back here at the campgrounds. That was a ton of fun here. Let's head on over to the lake. We'll go for a quick swim. And here we go. Oh, nice cool off here. 102 degrees out. It uh, showed at our house, but it looks like it's even a little bit warmer here. And here we are on the jet ski. Took a little bit of time to get it off uh, the trailer with the, the Denali since we didn't have a proper boat ramp. But here we go having some fun looks like. Wow, that's a pretty sweet lake boat. I definitely want to buy a lake boat here. Now, earlier today we bought a lake boat for the uh, homeowner series in FS19. Uh, uh, Wow, we're just cruising here, you guys can see the Yamaha is pretty sweet, and this is a pretty fast one as well. Wow, really uh, taking a lot of waves here, uh, getting in some air as well. Now, over the next few weeks, you guys will be seeing lots in lots more uh, GTA 5 as well. I really want to get back into doing a lot more of these. This game's a ton of fun, especially kind of how I played here in these videos. And I think we'll head back over to the campgrounds and I think we'll just probably wait around here until night time and then I'll catch you guys right before the fireworks start to go off. And it's just past 9.30 here. We just got word another 10 minutes. And everyone climbed up here on top of the Fleetwood here, which is awesome. Uh, we'll just sit here and we'll get to watching some fireworks. And the first firework there is going off. And that is it here for the fireworks show. I pretty much just showed you guys all of the highlights there by uh, just uh, sharing you guys the videos I took from my phone. I hope everyone enjoyed today's 4th of July camping video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.